Hey, 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 we're Snappers, this is Jordan with the Gray. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Pokemon Showdown Gray version season three. Uh, today we are kicking off the UU tier, and we rolled doubles format last week, which uh, ended up having uh, sparking a bit of discussion in the Discord because apparently what I did not realize is that doubles UU is a totally separate meta than just UU. <laughs> so, um,. It's like all different Pokemon, like it's mostly Pokemon that look like it's from previous tiers, stuff we already used. And so what we kind of just ended up deciding in the Discord was that the tier is UU and doubles or singles is just going to be format. So <clears throat> we built, we all built UU teams, uh, singles UU teams, and then, you know, that were legal in singles UU. And then we did the battles. We actually ended up doing the battles in doubles OU. Um, but the point wasn't to like, in, because like we have different, we, the tier is decided by which gym we're in and things like that. The, the, the idea was to do UU. We've got two weeks to do UU. We wanted to use UU Pokemon. That's the whole point. Um, and so the, the, the idea was, oh, let's do this fun format change, not let's introduce a whole new meta into the mix. So we ended up deciding it was, it was a bit of a contentious discussion, but um, I ended up making an executive decision. And I think most were happy with it that we will build single UU teams. So the next step up of legal Pokemon from what we've been doing in weeks past, and, and that we would just uh, battle in doubles, whatever tier we needed to do the actual battle in, um, we would do that uh, at that point. So, uh, that is what we're looking at here today, uh, otherwise people may be very confused if they're actually familiar with the modern meta, they're like, what is going on here? Um, but we are up against Grunt Scad here at the very beginning, and she finishes off the now fairy type Glinda! <laughs> Glinda evolved, uh, so that's exciting. Um, so the Iron Head actually does super effective damage and takes down Glinda, loses 91% of her health, uh, and Grunt Scad calls first blood for the week. So, uh, yeah, Scad bloodthirsty this week. Normally she comes in end of the week, uh, and uh, and last couple weeks she's defeated me, and this week she's like, nope, I want in, let's do it, <laughs> taking you down. So, there we go. Thank you so much for participating this week, Grunt Scad. I greatly appreciate it. Let's jump into the next one, shall we? Here we go. Alrighty, guys, and here we are up against Grunt Pocket Flygon. And it strikes me that uh, while I explained the tier shenanigans last time, I didn't talk about what the actual battle was this week, which is last week we rolled a UU doubles evil team encounter. So we talked about the UU doubles situation. We were doing evil team encounters, so we... We've, we were defeated soundly by uh, Grunt uh, Scad, um, and we are going up now against Grunt Flygon. Uh, so obviously we have our evolved Glinda, our beautiful shiny starter, finally in her final form there. Does mean that she is now fairy type, so she is uh, up against uh, poison and steel types and stuff in a way that she has not been before. Um, we also have a bunch of different team members here. You guys previously have seen Taka out. We've got Rhaegal, our shiny Salamance. Tyrant, our Nido King, just went down. Legion, our Durant, uh, came in just because I thought it would be interesting to use Durant. Uh, it goes down to the overheat from the uh, Easy Bake Oven there. Uh, Rhaegal then throws up the Outrage and finishes off the oven and then going to go down to a Dazzling Gleam from Grunt Plygon's, uh, Togekiss there. So... Uh, thank you so much for the battle this week, Grunt Flygon. I greatly appreciate it. Let's see what the other Grunts have in store for us, shall we? Here we go. Alrighty, and here we are up against Grunt Codeman. Codeman was very disappointed that because of the format this week, he actually had to have a team of six as opposed to his normal team of five. I guess he did, probably didn't have to, but, um, but uh, he decided to go with that. Tyrant goes down to the opposing. Uh, Codeman had a lot of similar Pokemon here. He had the Nido King, the Rotom Wash, and the Hatterene. Um, I almost put a Gyarados on my team, so it was funny to see that as well. So he he almost had a four out of f uh, four out of four there. Um, uh, Whirlpool going to switch on out. Whirlpool is a Pokemon I've used many times in these. I feel like I almost didn't use them because I'm like I feel like I use Rotom Wash every season, uh, but I, Rotom Wash is just good. I like I like Rotom in general, um, and Rotom Wash is a is a good form of that line. Um, I think I did so. So we're doing UU doubles evil teams. Um, this is our second encounter with the evil team, so we will we'll have a number of grunts here, uh, and then we will be having two admins this week. Uh, one because it's our second encounter, and sometimes you get have to go up against more than one admin, uh, and two because uh, I could not decide who I wanted to be the admin this week. We had a couple of good battles um, that I think both deserved it, and both had not um, previously already taken something, taken a slot on uh, like a admin or a gym leader or whatever. 
Uh, and so uh, went ahead and uh, wanted both of them to get a get a chance here this week. Um, Whirlpool going to take the ancient power there. Uh, Nicola got the boost. I don't know if it's got some ability that necessitates that or that they just got really lucky. I don't know. But uh, there it goes. And then Rhaegal going to go down to the rapid spin. <laughs> just just to rub salt in the wounds. Going for the rapid spin there to finish things off. Um, but uh, yeah, so went down to Grunt Codeman. Uh, good showing from them this week. So greatly appreciate your participation. And let's move in to the final Grunt Battle of the Week. We'll see who it is. Here we go. Alrighty, and here we are up against Grunt Klungar, and uh, I like Klungar's uh, sprite here. He's got the, the two evil-looking biker dudes, a doubles sprite, which is awesome. Uh, Taka comes up with the flame charge, gets the speed boost. Uh, the rage powder, which is a move that I can't say I've ever seen used. I feel like I've had Pokemon who have tried to learn it and just been like, nope, don't need that. Um, but uh, redirects the, uh, the, 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 the draining kiss. I was like, which fairy move did I have on Glinda? The draining kiss from the, uh, the Komo O. Uh, which was a bit unfortunate. Would have liked to have taken that boosted Kamo'o down a little earlier, but um, Whirlpool comes in and uh, is paired up with Nido King. Nido King going to take that pretty well. Goes with the Hydro Pump, the uh, the Fleckery. I don't know what that is, but I know it's Rock type, so I'm surprised how well it took the Hydro Pump there. Um, the Earth Power finishing it off, uh, and then Caroline comes in with Death Stalker. Um, Legion comes in to hang out with Tyrant. This expanding force, I don't know what it is, but it's obnoxious. It's probably like Deathstalk or uh, Necrozma's signature move or something. I've never used Necrozma, so I don't know. Um, Rhaegal goes for the Dragon Dance, but everybody goes down to expanding force. Uh, stuck with then, not stuck with, but down to Glinda and Whirlpool. Uh, both get intimidated there, but neither are physical attackers, so I'm not too worried about it. Whirlpool gonna go down the bulk on Glinda, helping her to survive that hit. Uh, I, I, I expect it's also a, a psychic move or something, so uh, able to resist it as well. But then finally going to go down uh, and soundly defeated by Grunt Klungar. So thank you so much for participating this week, Klungar. I greatly appreciate it. Let's move into our two admin battles this week, and then we'll see what we're doing next week. Alrighty, guys, here we go. Alrighty, guys, to start off this week, we are up against uh, admin Shunasaurus, and Shunasaurus leads off or at least has out at the moment, Metagross and Clefairy up against Whirlpool and Taka. Um, I, yeah, I think they let off with Metagross and Bronzong there, but uh, some switching happened while I was giving the introduction. <laughs> uh, down goes the Behem, which was nice. We got the Poltergeist off on that. Legion then going to go down to the Hydro Pump from the Starmie. Uh, Whirlpool going to use the Volt Switch, getting Starmie down into a good location there. Uh, Tyrant switching in, taking the Hypnosis, and then going down to the Starmie Psychic. Whirlpool then going to Volt Switch and finish off the Starmie for good, bringing in Taka, who uh, avoids the Hypnosis this time. Uh, Whirlpool then back in. Unfortunately, um, Volt Switch uh, powers up <laughs> powers up Taka instead of hitting the flying Silsteela, but uh, Taka able to finish off the Silsteela anyway. Not going to be able to take advantage of its special attack boost, but um, we'll make it work. Uh, at which point then Clefairy going to come in, throw up the Follow Me, uh, the Will-O-Wisp going to land on it instead of the Metagross. Uh, the Stomping Tantrum hitting Taka, but it able to survive, um, which I was uh, very happy with. Uh, the Burn finally landing on the Metagross there as it sets up some agilities. Uh, Taka got to go for the Earthquake, which Whirlpool uh, evades with its levitation. Uh, and down goes the Clefairy, the Metagross throwing in the Stomping Tantrum and finishing off before going down to the uh, Hydro Pump from Whirlpool. So... Thank you so much for battling this week, Admin Shinosaurus. I greatly appreciate it. Good battle there. And uh, let's figure out what our final admin has in store for us, shall we? Here we go. Alrighty, guys, and here we are up against Admin Ecat. And Ecat came in with only four Pokemon on it on their team. Um, and uh, uh, so I guess Codeman had the option of potentially uh, coming in with four as opposed to six. But... Um, did very well this week, actually, which is why I, I really wanted to make them a admin, uh, because, uh, we'll, well, you'll see, but, uh, ends up actually being a bit of a closer battle than even our, our last victory against Shun was. So, uh, Whirlpool and Taka up against Longclaw and Vlad. Vlad finishes off Taka there, Tyrant gonna come in and take a hard Zen headbutt, uh, before Vlad takes a hard Volt Switch, bringing Whirlpool out. Um, Rhaegal then comes in and throws up the Intimidate. Looks like the Inner Focus or something on uh, on the Crobat going to avoid the uh, the attack lower there. Uh, Zen Hudbutt finishes off Tyrant. Um, 
Vlad going to serve or go down to do a wing beat there. The Levic or the Earthquake uh, does not affect uh, either Whirlpool or Rhaegal. Uh, and Long Call going to throw up the Shadow Ball, finishing off the Salamence there. Uh, at which point Legion comes in. Um, Stance Change is going to protect the uh, the AG Slash there, uh, and uh, just kind of just kind of waiting it out. The Stone Edge from Legion going to miss. Uh, the Volt Switch not going to be doing a whole lot. Bringing Glinda in though. The Shadow Ball going to land and take Glinda down. Uh, leaving me with just Whirlpool and Legion. Long Claw gets its King Shield back up. Uh, we land the Stone Edge, but uh, is protected by the King Shield. Um, this turn, though, we managed to land it, and then the Hydro Pump gonna hit. So two low accuracy moves landing there. Uh, I don't think Ecat probably could have gotten out of that uh, with what we had on the field. I mean, both of our Pokemon are still 100%. Uh, basically, it was just having to. Uh, having to protect itself just to stay alive. So not able to get a whole lot going there, but um, still was able to, only four Pokemon on Ecat's team and was able to take down four of mine. Uh, so uh, I, I lost even more Pokemon to this uh, partner uh, deficient team there uh, than I did even in the last one. So uh, wanted to make sure that both Sean and Ecat got to shine. Uh, and it seems like we're, we're well through the game at this point. Uh, I think we're, we're coming up on badge number six this coming week. Uh, and so it seemed like a good time to have more than one uh, mini boss battle going on in an evil team encounter anyway. So uh, thank you both to uh, Shun and Ecat for being great admins this week and for everybody else who participated. I greatly appreciate you guys continued support on the series. Alrighty guys, let's jump into the spreadsheet and see what we've got in store uh, for this coming week. Here we go. Alrighty guys, so here we are with the spreadsheet. Now we're still in the UU tier. We did our evil team encounter, which means we are moving into a gym this week. So we have to do the R let's let's do our RNG roll for the gym type first, and then we'll go from there. We roll six. Um okay, so that's gonna make this an ice type gym. Alrighty. So we've got ice type as our typing. Um, we're in the UU tier, and we should roll for the battle format, so we'll do one through two, and it looks like two again. All right, so um, we will be doing a doubles ice gym uh, in the UU tier. That'll be interesting. <laughs> All right. Um, <clears throat> okay, so thank you guys so much for participating uh, in this previous week. Uh, look forward to battling all, if not more of you, uh, in this coming week. Um, and, uh, yeah, so start putting together, you got lots of time now, this episode, I actually had a chance to record this before, like, Monday morning, so, lots of time now to get, uh, to get your ice UU doubles teams put together, um, and, uh, yeah, so, anyway, guys, I've been Torment the Green, you guys have been great, uh, thank you to all those who have continued to participate in the series, um, thank you for all of those who are watching and commenting and liking and all of that, uh, if you, as always, if you'd like to participate and you have not already, it's not too late, you're welcome to jump in, uh, next week, any week, you can jump in for one week, there's no, there's no real commitment, um, you can, if you're busy some week, uh, or just happen to have free time in one week and you want to participate in that one isolated slot, you're more than welcome to. Uh, details on how you can participate are in the description down below. As always, guys, I've been Term of the Great, and you guys have been great. Make sure those likes, comments, subscriptions for me, guys, and I will see you all back here next time. Alrighty, guys, have a good one.